this version of Gig Partner Demo, we're going to talk about implementing MIDI within Gig Partner Gold. At the top, we will select the MIDI Setup tab, and you can see that I've already created four devices. MIDI devices can be actual external devices like foot pedals and mixers and keyboards, or it can be a virtual device like the DMX's MIDI controller by way of the MIDI yoke. If I edit the DMX's lighting controller device, you can see how you can define the MIDI interface type device as well as the MIDI channel. So creating a new device is simply the description, what interface it's going to use, virtual or real, and what MIDI channel it's on. Now let's create some commands for our DMX's lighting controller. On the MIDI command screen, you see information about our MIDI device and the output on where that is going, and you'll see the MIDI command list on the left in the green box. Let's create a new MIDI command since we don't have any created yet. Now on the right, we have a new box open up. We can put a description of this command. We have to assign it a reference code and the type of command that's going to be sent to the MIDI port, whether it's program, control, uh, note and stop note, but we won't be using those two for the purposes of DMXs. Just program and control are the only two that we need to know about. We talked about earlier the two types of commands DMXs is looking for. Either a C32 to select the bank or a P program and the number to select a scene. Obviously we have to select the bank first and then the scene before we can initiate a lighting scene. So let's go ahead and create our bank selection commands first. My first bank is general. So I'm going to put in a description, general bank. Now I have to put in a reference code. Once you create the reference codes, they cannot be changed without deleting the command. So I'm going to call it GENBNK. It is not a program code, it is a command code. C32, remember, to select banks. So I'm going to just type 32, it's faster than searching for it. And 0 is the value because that's the first bank. Now when I click on test, you can see the little green light light, and you can see the command it sent out. And if you have DMXs open, you can see the bank change. Now you know your interface is working properly. Let's save that command. That goes over here. Now we've got one whole command created. Let's create some more bank changes. The next bank is washes. So I'm going to just get rid of general, type in wash, Put in a WASBNK as my reference code, change the value of the 1, everything looks good, click the test button, watch DMXs, change the bank, great, sounds good, don't forget to save it. Okay, we got one more bank to do for sound. Sound bank. Let's change the reference to SOUBNK, keeping the same format, and that all we have to change is the value from 1 to 2 because we still are using C command and 32 so just change the value when you click on the test button you'll see the sound wash changes and now we've got our three bank selection commands all programmed and ready to go so now it's time to create some preset selections under 00, zero we have one only reset all so let's create the reset all scene selection. Let's start with a clean board. Click on the done button, then new. Now let's put a description in for the reset all scene selection or preset selection. And we're just going to type general because it's under general reset all. Now watch what I type for the reference code. GEN00. Zero zero. And I highly recommend that you follow the same kind of format for your reference codes. We need a program command for scene selection, and the control code is not 32, but it's going to be left at 0 because it is the first scene in that bank. We hit the test button. You can see that the third value is ignored, by the way. And we hit save. Now we have our first scene selection. Let's talk about another scene. In the next bank, washes, we have 
two presets, red and blue wash. So let's create our red wash. The name of the next wash, or I should say scene, is going to be red. So I'm going to give the description following my same architecture of wash space red. And my reference code is going to be WAS00. It's the first uh, scene in that bank. Just hit the test button, save it. We're going to create a blue wash. Just change that to blue. Change the number to 01. Change the program to 1. Save it. Okay. Now all we have to do is create one preset for sound washes. However, it's time to make an important note about scene selection. You'll notice that General Reset All and Red Wash are both commands P0. That will select, P0 will select the first scene of the bank, whatever that current bank happens to be. So for example, if your intention in a song was to set a red wash, but you were still in the general bank, you would get instead a command to reset all. So make sure when you do make a scene selection, you know what the current bank is. Okay. So let's create our final scene under sound crazy green and we're going to use the same method of reference codes SOU00 program code will be of course 0 for scene 1 or 0 and we'll test and save okay we've got a few bank selections and scene selection commands set up under our MIDI device DMX's lighting controller so let's show you how we can call these commands within a song. Let's show you how to put these commands into a song. We go to Song Setup. It's under Song Events. And we're going to find a song, Fast As You, that we created earlier. We already have the events that are involved with the scrolling and cues. And if we play the song, you can see that the cues still fire, everything is good. Notice that I have my record button lit, very important, otherwise we won't be able to record any MIDI events. Now I'm going to show you an important tip about adding MIDI events. When you add MIDI events, at the top, first click the Quick Events button. What happens when you have Quick Events on is all the events fire without animation, meaning that they fire very quickly. That way, when you go to add an event, there will not be a delay in recording that event. So let's stop the music and let's start over again. Now what I'm going to do is add a couple washes to start with. So let's start the music again and we're going to enter a command by hitting the MIDI command button. When we click it, you'll notice the music does pause. First, we have to do the drop down box to pick our DMX lighting controller. Once we do that, of course, it will remember it. Here are all the commands that we've created bank selection for washes. We will click on it because we want to select the wash bank first. And then all we do is we can either double click it or click it once and click on record event. There is our event for selection of the washes bank. Remember you can edit the time frame of these events by double clicking them and then changing the time and saving it. Now at the time that I am in the song I am going to add the actual wash that I want. When you add a command you can do record and it leaves the MIDI open or record and close which closes the MIDI box. And of course, you can even test the command to see DMX's operate from that command. So now I've inserted that command into the song. And so I have the bank selection and the wash. I'll close the MIDI commands list. And I'm going to play the song. And what we'll do next, I will put another wash 
near the beginning of verse 2. So I can uh, just play the music and wait for that time frame. Keep in mind that the next wash is still under the wash's bank, so I don't have to select the bank again. I will click the MIDI commands button. At the time I want to pause the music, I will double click the other wash that I want to go into my song. And you see that it's loaded into the song at that time where I pause the song. I will close the list, play the music, and wait for the next time frame, which is the chorus. Now for the chorus, I'm going to add our crazy green lighting scene. This will require a bank change because crazy green is in my sound bank. So I have to make sure that I select the sound bank before I select the scene for crazy green. So what I'll do is I'll select the bank now and it doesn't matter when it's selected as long as it's done before the time frame that I want to add my crazy green lighting scene. Keep in mind that simply selecting a bank change will never change the actual lighting scene itself not until you select a scene within that bank. So let's create a couple changes in our music again. I'm going to have to switch back to our wash bank so I'm going to enter the wash bank command followed by the wash. Now I've got some nice lighting changes samples within the beginning of our song enough to give you an idea how it's going to look. I'm going to click on save events and let's take a look and see how these fire within gig player. Okay you can see I've got gig player open ready to go I've loaded our gig called diamond lounge that we created earlier and I've queued up the song fast as you that we just finished creating lighting events for. You can see behind DMX is, is peeking out and we'll be able to see screen changes as they occur. In order for Gig Partner to send signals out by MIDI, we have to turn the MIDI master on. You'll see the lights flash and the shortcut keys appear. Now MIDI is armed ready to go. Watch for screen and bank changes and the green light flash when MIDI commands are being sent by Gig Partner. We'll hit play and the first event that will fire is the bank change for the washes. Then the next event that will fire is our first wash. Boom, there it is, right on time. For our first wash, our screen scrolling events occur. The singer begins to sing. Keep an eye for the next wash change, which will occur about verse number two. Hopefully the green light flashes. If you ever get a red light, that means there's something wrong with your definitions for your interface. It's not getting out to your MIDI device. There was a MIDI send light. We selected the first wash right on time. Now for the next wash at the chorus, let me show you by the way the lighting buttons changed. The next wash will require a bank change. Bank change has just occurred. And now we're going to select the uh, crazy green wash. Watch for a bank change again. Boom, there's the bank change. Crazy green is still active until we select the scene. And then we select the scene. And then we go back to the red wash. And that is our demo for the basic lighting scenes we created for our song. Thank you for watching.